Hello everyone, welcome to Alice Math class. Today we're gonna go through some questions from 2023 level 3 differentiation topic test papers. This is for our question 1. A differentiate y equals square root of 3x minus 2. So first we need to rewrite y as the composite function 3x minus 2 and then to the power of half using our chain rule y dash equals a half 3x minus 2 to the power of half minus 1 equals the negative half and then times the derivative of inside the bracket should be 3 so the final result would be 3 over 2 3x minus 2 to the power negative half. Okay, so this is for the first one. We needed to simplify the answer. And then second one, find the rate of change of the function f t equal t squared e to the power 2 t when t equals 1.5. So rate of change actually means differentiate the derivatives. So first, we need to differentiate the function was written in the modification form, so we need to use the product rule and chain rule 2t times e to the power 2t plus t squared times the derivative of e to the power 2t. We should take out the derivative of 2t first and then times e to the power 2t. So the derivative of f t will be 2 t plus 2 t square and then times e to the power 2 t then substitute if t equal 1.5 f dash t should be equal 2 times 1.5 plus 2 times 1.5 square and then times e to the power 2 times 1.5 e to the power cube and then equal 3 plus 2.25 should be 4.5 and then e to the power cube so the final result is 7.5 e to the power cube okay question c the graph shows the curve y equal to 2 over x plus 3 cubed along with the tangent line to the curve drawn at x equals 1. A second tangent to this curve is drawn which is parallel to the first tangent. So find the x coordinate of the point where this second tangent touches the curve. So parallel to the first tangent actually means the same gradient so first we need to figure out what's the gradient of the first tangent to the curve at x equals 1 so differentiate 2 over x plus 3 to the power cube you can use the quotient rule or you should rewrite it as 2 x plus 1 to the power negative 3 and then differentiate using chain rule 2 keep it x plus 1 to the power negative 3 we need to take out negative 3 and then take 1 from original power negative 3 minus 1 equals negative 4 and then times the derivative inside the bracket x plus 1 the derivative equals 1 so we can omit so the final result is negative 6 bracket x plus 1 to the power negative 4 if x equals 1 so the gradient of the tangent equal negative 6 times 1 plus 1 to the power negative 4 so actually is negative 6 
over 1 plus 1, 2 to the power 4 is 16. Negative 4 means 1 over 16. So you can simplify as negative 3 over 8. Okay, so this is the first step. We try to figure out the gradient of the first tangent line, and which means the second tangent line should be the same as the first one. It's negative 3 over 8. So at which point we try to make the gradient function negative 6, x plus 1 to the power negative 4, and then equal negative 3 over 8. And then you can try to solve this equation. So x plus 4, x plus 1 to the power 4 on the bottom, and then the top is negative 6, and then equal negative 3 over 8. You can use the cross multiplication, negative 6 times 8 equals negative 3 times x plus 1 to the power 4. So, so we can use the cross multiplication, negative 48, and then x plus 1 to the power 4 should equal 16. And which number to the power 4 equals 16? 4 is an even number, so x plus 1 should be positive and negative 2. And then x should equal, when x plus 1 equals 2, so x equals 1. When x plus 1 equals negative 2, so x should equal negative 3. So find the co x coordinate of the point where the six, uh, this second tangent touches the curve. So our answer is x equals negative 3. This is the second tangent and I touch it at x equals negative 3 on this graph. So you can see like here. Okay, so this is for our question C. Now let's move on to the question D. The diagram below shows a tangent path through the point P and then the x coordinate P and the y coordinate Q. Which lies on the circle with the parametric equation x equals 4 cos theta and y equals 4 sin theta? Show that the equation of the tangent line is px plus qy equals p squared plus q squared. Equation of the tangent line, and we can using the formula point gradient form y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. They, or, they already give us the initial point P lying on the tangent line P, PQ. So X1, Y1 would be P and Q. So how do I find the gradient of this tangent? Okay, so gradient of the ta this tangent means M equals the derivatives. The DX over D theta should equal negative 4 sine theta and dy over d theta and equals 4 cos theta. So dy over dx, the gradient of the tangent would be dy over d theta 4 cos theta over negative 4 sin theta. Okay, so the derivative of the original function we just write in terms of theta. So we can try to draw the radius of this circle first. From the parametric equation, the radius should be 4. And then between the radius and the x axis, we make the angle theta here. So here should be 4 cos theta, and here should be 4 sine theta, the right angle triangle here. And also 
Actually, here the x coordinate is p, the y coordinate is q. So at point p, and we will find p actually equals four cos theta and q equals for sine theta. So dy over dx equals four cos theta is p and negative four sine theta is negative q. So this is the gradient. Equation of the tangent is y minus y1 is q equals m, m is negative p over q, and then bracket x minus p. So we try to rearrange it and then simplify. K multiply q on both sides should be qy minus q square equals get rid of the bracket should be negative px plus negative p times negative p is p squared. So px plus qy should equals p squared plus q squared.